for everyone, this is chapter 9, and I want to make clear that if you don't have your wooden sword upgraded to its max level on that, by now, you should do it. I'm going to show a farming spot, and I expect anyone who's watching this video to upgrade it using this method. Basically, just go in here, charge, uh, unleash, kill, and absorb. Now, uh, in chapter 9, you can upgrade your Dabby to level 2, so I recommend doing that uh, near the Maranasa shop, uh, by the, behind the skull door. And uh, it, the level 2 Dabby has a better chance of killing these guys. Level 1 works, but you know, sometimes you can leave one guy behind, like what you just saw there. Overall, it's a, I'm gonna max on my essence now, because normally I item spam to get past this chapter. Um, for the next fight, I'm just gonna equip the Lunar for variety's sake. You can use whatever you want. It's not too bad of a fight. Um, again, if you have the Wooden Sword at level uh, maxed out, as you should, uh, I don't I, if all attacks work, but I strongly recommend you get it because it's going to make Chapter 10 a lot easier. Most people think Chapter 10 is the hardest, one of the hardest levels in, in the game, and I think it's actually one of the easiest levels if you if you have Wooden Sword maxed out. Of course, if you don't have it maxed out, I can see what people th why people think it's hard. Anyway. Now the next fight is a little tricky, um, what I like to do is snipe the guy back here. Don't go past this archway, or stand as far back as you want, because he won't shoot you, but you can shoot him. Now the, the guy on the other tower is uh, a little trickier, because sometimes the rocket launcher guys from the tank like to shoot you while you're sh trying to attack the guy on the tower, and that becomes a little hectic, um, I get lucky now, I just like to inch forward and make sure no one's shooting at me. Here's a nice safe spot, just stay back here. Uh, of course you can't really hit anything. And I'm just gonna keep inching forward, and, uh, you can, if you see this guy right here, um, he can't hit me, but if you're right here, you can hit him in his shoulder, and you should be able to take him out that way. Now I'm gonna, I'm also gonna use arrows to get rid of the guy on top of the tank. He, that guy will start pulling grenades periodically and that'll be um, pretty tough to dodge while trying to take care of the other uh, soldiers. But uh, this fight's not, not, not much for me to talk about, just get rid of the rocket launcher guys first and then take care of the regular guys, however you see fit. Yeah, just like the tank fight in Chapter 8, they just spawn out of the back of the tank, so you can just stay there, and it's gonna drop them. Sometimes Ryu is an idiot and targets the wrong enemy, but hopefully that doesn't happen too bad, too much. And I sort of feel sorry for these enemies, they don't really stand much of a chance. And there's a brilliant move by Ryu, targeting the empty air when there's clearly a guy next to him. Now I'm speeding this up because there's not much for me to say. Um, I almost felt like cutting this clip out, except, you know, it's, it's part of a walkthrough I should actually show the, every fight. But I, I mean, I, there's not much to say here. I mean, I'm doing the same thing for... The, all of chapter 8, and these guys are no different. Now, now when this fight is over, I make sure you get these arrows. They'll be useful in the next fight, uh, in the warehouse, and make sure you get your scarab too. Now, when you go inside, the chest usually has something. Uh, in the other difficulties, on the it has something good, but here it has explosive bats, so I'm going to skip it. Those two items, make sure you use, uh, I don't think you can backtrack to this warehouse once you're done with it, but, so uh, I make sure to use all my items, uh, if I need them. Uh, not all my items, I mean one, one small elixir, one big elixir, and another small elixir. Now uh, here's one of my most hated fights in the game, this is why I hate chapter 9. I play Ninja Battle because it's an action game, not a 
not a first person shooter game. Well, what the hell is this? And anyone who's seen me play Halo or Killzone knows that I can't aim at all. I'm the guy who uses the shotgun or the assault rifle because I can't shoot anything without some, some, uh, without a weapon like those two. Now, of course I'm gonna have problems here, like what you're seeing right now. And I don't really have any tips or tricks for this fight. I just try to shoot and get rid of them as quickly as possible. I like to stay behind this box because I can restock my arrows quickly. Um, obviously I'm gonna take a lot of damage, but again, I have uh, one big elixir waiting for me to and that's going to go to waste unless I use it. Now, the fight has 20 of these bots. Um, one of them is stuck behind the crate, so I'm just going to move on and kill him later. That's actually happened to me a lot of times. Uh, that one guy's getting stuck. I don't know what triggers it. Uh, I'm sure it would be problematic in a karma run or something. Good thing this isn't a karma run. Um, make sure you get all your arrow max. Uh, make sure you uh, max out all your arrows before you leave this warehouse. Yeah, I mean, there's two chests that give you free ones, but I want to make sure that I max it out because you want to start off the tank fight with all the arrows you can you can hold. Because if you don't start it out that way, you'll run out of them sooner. And any trip off to the box to restock is, uh, for me, uh, painful. And Speaking of painful, so is this platforming. As you'll see here, um, I wanted to show where to get the scarab. I think that's important for me to show a video log of where every scarab is. Just go here, jump, use X with a dragon sword, not too bad. Now, the chest over there you see in the distance, that has the large elixir I was talking about. I'm not going to use it next. Uh, I'm not going to use it right now because there's another fight. What I like to do in this fight is start it off by sh shooting explosive arrows to get the guy all the way back there with the the rocket launcher. Now I don't trust Ryu and I don't trust his aiming, so I was manual aiming. But I don't trust my manual aiming either, so I just decided to get up there. Now here's a great move. I was going to drop him, and now I have to do the whole goddamn platforming section again. Great. Just great. Oh, this has actually happened to me many, many times. But I mean, it gives me an excuse to, hopefully, not much of a great excuse to refill my air explosive arrows. I also want to just show that scarab up to the top. And as you can see already, I'm having a difficult time with chapter 9. I don't know who's, who thought this level would be fun because it's not fun at all, in my opinion. Uh, chapter 10 is a little fun, I think. Now, the chest up here has a small elixir, again, so, you know, if you, if you take damage from that uh, bot fight or this fight, feel free to stock up on those three items. I'm just going to grab this and move on.